Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful classic lacy seed beads earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here consider subscribing because I have new videos and you will be inspired often usually twice a week you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself if you're not new here you could definitely skip this intro and go to the work itself but I have just a few words to say down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my facebook and instagram pages i will be so happy to see your creations you could also check my second channel with the fast clips and now guys thank you so much for liking sharing and commenting you don't know how much of a support this is and how happy you make me with these actions now i'm going to start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using here for this video are two colors of 10 o seed beads and i'm sure you could use 11 o seed beads instead and here i'm using earring findings in black color this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory but i use them only if i need to go through the difficult beads okay and now i'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and i'm back and what i'm going to pick up first are 12 black beads okay and i have my 12 on my needle and i'm going to slide those down i will stick my needle in my mat and here what i want to do is make a knot and i'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pulling and then what I want to do is one more knot just to be sure it's all nice tight and secure okay then I will go through some beads in this direction okay now I have this and now guys what I'm going to pick up is one light bead, one black bead and one light bead. Okay, this is what I have. I'm skipping the bead that's on my way and I'm going through the following. And I pull. Then I'm going to pick up light, black and light. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm skipping the one that's on my way and I'm going through the following okay then again light black and light skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following okay guys and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row okay guys now i have this and in my next step i'm going out of this light bead and i'm going to pick up five light beads they are like an ivory color these light beads okay sliding those down skipping this black one and going here through the light bead and through the following black and i have this beautiful petal then i go through the next light bead and i'm going to pick up again five light beads okay i have my five here skip the black and go in this direction then here and take five more 
and go here. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and I have this and now in my next step I'm going through all of those three beads. Then I'm exiting here at the top through this bead that's sticking out the most. And I'm taking three black beads and I'm going back in circle through this one here at the top. Okay. Then I go through two beads in this direction. Take just one and go through these two. Then again here, take three like this. then one go here okay then here at the top three go through the top and through the following two beads i'm one light bead away from the center take one black and go in the same place one light bead away from the center of my work and again exit here okay and i will continue this and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last black bead from this row and now what i'm going to do is go in this direction this time i'm going through the top and through the bead after that and i'm taking two black beads then i go in the same place one light bead away from the top and then through the top then through the next seed bead after the top Then I take two black beads and I go here in the same place like I did before. Then again through the following light bead. Two again. Go here. And I'm going to continue this adding two beads everywhere and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and I'm finishing this row by adding two more black beads here. Okay. And then my next row, I will reach these two beads that I added in my previous row. So I'm exiting here after those two beads. And I'm going to take three seed beads Okay, three of them and I'm going back in circle through these two beads just like this fixing them a little bit now I have this then I go again through these light beads here I'm reaching the next black beads And I need to take three, go back, reaching the next two, take three again, 
go back and I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll meet you here okay and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row then what I want to do is exit here through this black bead and exit here at the top okay now I have this and I'm going to flip my work it's not obligatory but it's easier for me to go in this direction that's why I flip and here guys I'm going to pick up three light beads like this then what I do is that I want to reach here the next bead that is sticking out okay and I want to reach here this bead take three again and go back and again I'm reaching for this black bead here at the top of my petal and I take three okay and I will continue adding light beads here here and here and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row then I will go one more time through those three beads like this and like this and I'm going to take two light beads and I'm going here through the black one then again two white beads go here through the black uh, through the light sorry through the three light at the top take two light beads go through the central black here two light beads go through these top three light beads two go in the central black two and go through these three light beads and I'm showing you for the last time and it's really easy and simple you just add two beads everywhere until the end and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am at almost my last step of this row okay I add it here it is the last step in fact but now I'm going through three light beads I'm here next to this black one and I'm going to take three black beads skip the black and go through the following four it's just to save time in one movement you go to the following four then again going through the next three and exiting out of this black three blacks and go through the next four and I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end 
ok and I take 3 and I go through the following 4 exiting out of the top ok this row is really easy and pleasant I will continue it and I'll be back ok guys and these are the last 3 black beads that I'm adding here and again I'm going through as many beads as I can in this direction I'm exiting out of this top light bead now I have this and now I'm going to pick up five black beads okay I have here my five and as I'm exiting through this light bead I'm going through the middle one of these three beads that I added in my previous step okay then I'm going to add five again okay five and I'm going through the middle one of these beads here these light beads through the one that's sticking out the most and then I'm going to take five again okay five and I go through the middle black bead and I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end okay five and I go here okay guys continue this and meet me here okay guys and I'm here where I'm adding my last five black beads from this row and now I'm going to make another row with light beads okay I'm going through three black beads or I'm exiting out of the middle of these five beads okay and I'm going to take seven light beads I have my seven here and as I'm exiting here again I'm going through the middle one of these five beads that I added the middle one it means that here I have two beads here I have two beads and I'm going through this one which is the third one counting from here okay and I take seven and I go in the middle one of this five usually it is sticking out the most this one that I'm going through seven and go here in the middle I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end okay seven go here in the middle okay continue this and meet me here okay and I'm here at the end where I'm adding my last seven beads from this row okay and don't worry that now it looks like this and moves around we'll fix it in this row okay now I go through three light beads I skip the one that's coming on my way which is the middle one and I go through the next two okay and this one that I skipped when I move it like this and pull I will have here this beautiful angle now I'm taking one black bead and here I go through these two beads I'm not going through this first but through the next two okay then I skip the one that's on my way which is the middle one of these seven okay this one I'm skipping it not going through it and when I pull it like this and pull my thread I have this an angle okay then I take another black go through these two skipping the first light going through the following two then skipping the angle bead or the middle 
of the seven white beads I added in my previous row I pull and I have an angle with this new thread that I'm making and another black bead go here through these two white beads keeping the first one then I skip the top and go through the next two forming another another angle and you see how these look really nice and these are moving around and when I finish this row all of those will look in this way okay meet you here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last black bead from this row you see how everything straightened up and these lacy classic earrings are almost finished I just need to add my earring finding here it is and I take two seed beads then I take my earring finding slide those down and I'm going to take two more seed beads and I go back in circle okay now I have this and I'm going to reinforce this joint here and after I'm ready reinforcing I will go through some beads in this direction I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread and how I'm making my knot I go like this and make a loop and I'm going then once and second time through this loop I've made I pull and I could repeat this knot several more times when I'm ready with the last knot I go through some beads in this direction and then I cut my thread and my earring will be ready okay guys and now my lacy seed bead earrings are ready remember to subscribe for new inspirational videos and remember to check description and also like share and comment and I'm so grateful for this support thank you so much for watching bye bye from me